I'm going to go over a couple options here on how when you're catching the ball off the wing as a guard or a wing player, different ways that players attack. And I'm going to use examples of three players that we all know, what they do, why they do it, and why it works for them. This is not everything they do, just an example. I'm going to go through these one at a time, and let's get started. First one, we're going to say Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's a big guy. He's about 6'6", real strong. He's about 220 in his his heyday. He's going to catch it and look at you. He's not going to use a lot of energy. He's going to conserve his energy and his time. And you see what I do there. I'm going to just face up on that guy, stare him down, and I'm going for a one dribble pull up. Like I said, I'm not going to waste a lot of energy. I'm not going to try to explode by you or none of that. I'm just going to use my technique and whatever mistakes you make. As soon as you make the mistake of reaching in for the ball or getting too close to me or getting your hands too low or being in the wrong position with your footwork defensively, I'm taking advantage of you. I'm going to take that one dribble and hit that pull up. And any of y'all watch Jordan, I'm talking about the Jordan after his first retirement from 96 on. You know this is the way he attacked, guys. He didn't try to be an acrobat. He just used your weaknesses against you. As soon as you made any mistake, then he had to be a weakness. Just a mistake. All he needed was that little bit of space. And from 18 feet in, you're done. Now, second guy we're going to talk about, let's talk about Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson is a small guy and he's really quick. So what does a small and quick guy need on offense? They want space. They want to create space between himself and the defender. So if a guy was to get up on Iverson when he caught the ball, because I watched Iverson a lot in his day in Philly during his prime, the guys would get all up on him and try to crowd his space so he couldn't use that crossover. So the first thing he's going to do is put the ball on the floor, snatch it back, and what does that do? That creates space. You have to back up and respect his quickness because once you start respecting the quickness of a small guy, you're playing his game. And Once you start playing Iverson's game defensively, he's got you beat. You're at his mercy. And that's why he led the league in scoring so many years because nobody could stay in front of him. Once he put the ball on the floor and you got space in between you two, it was over. Now Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade is a guy that's a little bit smaller than Jordan but still big and very fast but not yet quite not yet as quick as Iverson but he's an explosive straight line guy so he's not going to dance around like Iverson do a lot of moves he can hit outside shots but he's not a good not as good a shooter as Jordan so he doesn't want to shoot a jet he wants to get to the rim going in a straight line using his explosiveness and his speed while Iverson is more quickness Wade is more explosive speed he's just going to blow by you and finish on my game now it's time to work on yours the Hoop Handbook is a series of workout programs straight from my own personal experience working out and training on every aspect of basketball. Ball handling, shooting, scoring moves, scoring over bigger defenders, the crossover, post moves, your weak hand, off the court training, dunking, vertical, all of this covered. All you got to do is follow the program step by step. The Hoop Handbook. and as he comes back to your right you just reach the ball right over his head and finish the shot